Today back in solo queue. I haven't been keeping track of the heroes that I already used and the heroes that I have not so I'm going to have to rely on you guys again in the comment section and this time it looks like we have a huge request to play Argus. This one guy even asks for a specific skin, what why? I mean I'm not complaining, I'm just curious, I have that skin after all. Like I said earlier, I don't know how to play this guy, but Inspire works really good on him, I've heard, and I don't know about the emblems, but we're gonna go with Weapon Master. Okay, let's look at the lineup. It looks like we're gonna be going against Badang's Bizarre Adventures in the XP lane, so we gotta be careful. But overall, our team is looking pretty good. We don't have a solid tank, but we have a really thick Karina. Yeah, she's thick because every Karina builds tanky nowadays, right? And now that we are in the game, let's head over real quick to the XP lane as fast as we can. And let us observe how this Badang would react. It's not like I'm studying what move he's going to do next, it's just that I really don't know what to do at this point. I guess we'll just stab him in the face, only if I have a longer weapon. This is ridiculous, I have a sword and he only has his fists and he still outranges me. But that is the fun of being a late game hero. We can play passively and if he attacks us like that, then maybe it's a bad choice to still fight him because uh, look at our HP. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just going to make sure that we stay inside our tower and just take out these minions for XP and gold as they come close. And if this Padang tries to activate his spider sense again by guessing where I am in that bush, then we're just going to back off a little bit. And just let him push his minion wave towards us. Because he can't really do much if we stay under our tower unless he dives us. And I think he's too smart for that. And he's too smart that he's helping his teammates now take out this turtle soup that we will be not getting. I mean, that turtle was very low. I was hoping I could last hit it before we take a trip back to the base. But that is fine. We're just going to dust ourselves off and go back to the lane and take advantage of Badang not being here by taking out all these minions. And I hope Karina doesn't get mad. I know she likes big cockroaches like this one, especially when she's a jungler and she needs all the gold and XP that she needs. But I also need to catch up with Badang because I'm falling behind in items and I don't think that they plan on visiting my lane anytime soon. So yeah, this is our life now. We're getting pushed back into our lane, but that's fine. We still have a lot of gold plating on our tower. And as long as we stay alive and not give this Badang any more kills, then that should be alright. In the meantime, in the map, I think Karina is heading this way. So why don't we start this party now, Badang? I bet you're surprised that I'm suddenly fighting back. That's right, the power of friendship gave me courage to secure our kill. So that feels pretty nice. I really thought that nobody's going to gank my lane, but since Karina helped us out, we're going to help her as well in cooking this delicious turtle soup. And it's a turtle soup that the enemy freely gives us. And meanwhile, this Estes is telling our marksman to go to the bot lane. So I guess I'm going to go top lane then, huh? Or uh, maybe not, because Irithel can't read messages in the chat. So I guess we're back here to the XP lane and I'm going to have to take this big cockroach again for its gold and XP. And just like before, since we don't have items yet, we're just going to wait for the minions to come to us. And we're not going to fight that Badang because aside from him being able to stun us multiple times, his skin looks pretty intimidating. It's a good thing that he's wasting time here though, trying to throw punches and watching me clear his minion wave without him getting anything back in return. I mean, I know how that feels. I've faced a lot of Zilongs and it's pretty frustrating when they stay under their tower, right? But this time, it looks like our teammates were foolish enough to engage the enemy in a losing battle. And being a team player that I am, I have no choice but to join them in any kind of foolishness that they want to accomplish. I am just going to make sure that I at least castrate this cat boy before I get sent back to the base. Now I can sleep well at night knowing that Harith cannot populate. You know what, this playing safe strategy might be working for us, but it's not working for my boredom. So we're going to need to spice it up a little bit, and I'm getting bored of Badang's face that I want to stick my sword right in the middle of it. You don't seem to understand Badang that you didn't lock me in that wall with you, you lock yourself in with a guy who secures... Don't tell me you fell for it again. 
All right, way to go, Erythel and Estes, I think, in the mid lane. In the meantime, our job here is done because I have freed myself from being stuck in the bot lane by destroying their tower. Also, shut up, Mark. Stop turning on the microphone on Facebook so that you can listen to my conversation and give me targeted advertisement. Uh oh, I don't think we can skip this team fight. We are too close, and if we move away now, our team are going to start getting suspicious. Let's try to stop this Madang at least. And let's quickly get out of there because I don't want to deal with those other enemies who have ranged attacks. What we can do is go back to our lane here at the bottom and push this wave one more time. And if Badang doesn't show himself here, then I'm going to be tempted to just use my Inspire and take down this tower. Wow, that was uh, pretty fast, don't you agree, Mr. Dong? I don't think he liked that one bit. Alright, so Badang lost two towers in his lane now. He's definitely gonna go for my tower this time because it's an embarrassment. A macho man like him getting outpushed like that, that's going to really hurt his ego. But now it's going to really hurt him physically and also in real life. Because he knows that he made the wrong decision and is probably hitting his face with his palm right now. Don't worry team, I'm pretty sure that I can make it in time for this team fight, but it looks like you guys don't need my help. But hey, this Zask thinks that he's going to get away and uh, yep he is, because that laser is very annoying with the slow. Wow, look at that, with the power of teamwork and the power of me not being there, our teammates were able to take down the mid lane inhibitor. Time to celebrate by tossing this salad. You guys want to do the Lord when our marksman is dead? You bet I'm in. And now I'm out because you bastards left me and that Cupra looks like he wants to make an Argus pancake. So are we just really gonna let them take the Lord that I work hard to get to half HP? I guess we are. And there's nothing left here to do now because the enemies are trying to push for a post-objective team fight. And this cat boy is pretty mad at me because he doesn't have balls anymore. Shut up cat boy, it was for your own good. Wait a minute, I think they forgot their tank here. Let's uh, ship him back through LBC. And what do we have here? I thought I already injured this cat boy for him to go back to base. And he actually wants to fight me now and he's actually winning. I guess I spoke too soon. Okay, so three of the enemies are dead but they do have the Lord marching towards our top lane tower. So we better hurry up and take the fastest way to get to where the Lord is so that we can take it down before they can even defend it. Alright, so that was a successful takedown of the Lord and since we're successful, it's time to celebrate with Crab Soup. And we will quickly go back to the bot lane because they saw me top lane last. Actually, never mind. I think a team fight just started and I think it ended too soon. We were a little too late. Two of our teammates already died and I'm not gonna jump into a 5-man formation. This cat boy though looks like he's out of formation. Okay, you didn't see that, alright? You didn't see me just panic press my ult for nothing? Or maybe I was just showing you Argus's cool wings whenever he ults. Now why don't we stay here for a little bit? Someone ought to expose themselves. And this time it looks like it's this alien bug boy who won't be escaping. Wait, what? Enemy Beatrix got legendary? Okay, they are seriously catching up, aren't they? What about if we wait here? Maybe she'll come by here and I can grab her big... Okay, wait a minute. That's not Beatrix at all. Shut up, Kufra. I don't like grabbing big bouncing balls. And Mr. Badang, I really hate you. Good job, Ethel, for securing our kill. Alright, guys. It's uh, past 12 minutes and you made a really good decision in starting that Lord without me. Now it's our turn to initiate a post-objective teamfight and it looks like our teammates are very fed now, especially this Irithel. I'm gonna have to play Irithel real soon to find out how strong she is. I mean, I can see it now, but I wanna feel Irithel for myself. I mean, uh, I wanna play as her. Like, you know what I mean, right? With four of the enemies dead, I don't think we should be wasting any more time. So guys, please help me out and I don't want to die. So I'll just get out a little bit and we were a little bit too late to go back in the center of the frame for this victory selfie. It's fine though, we're there. We're just not the main subject, but we are there. But hey, that's gonna be our Argus, the anti-feeding hero gameplay. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't play him a lot, but whenever I try him out, I have so much fun every single time. 
And I hope you did too watching this gameplay. Again, my name is Shin Mintagazo. Thank you for watching these videos. You really helped me out a lot. Hit like if you enjoyed this one. Check out our recent uploads for the many and different heroes we played in the past. Subscribe for more of these type of content in the future. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.